So as you can hear, see here today, and by the title, I've got the uh, the Buffalo Air Station N450 Giga, which is a dual brand router, which should have been an improvement of the uh, Talk Talk router they give you when you get fiber optic. So we upgraded to fiber optic, and then lost our Wi-Fi range with the uh, we used to have the uh, Net Netgear N300, but obviously you can't use that because I've got a modem and a router. So we invested in this thing, which as you can see, has got three huge aerials on the top compared to the talk to one which has no aerials. So three high gain antennas, DDR WRT pre-installed, USB NAS compatibility, long range with smartphones, which is quite good, seeing as we have quite a lot of smartphones in this house. Dual band, 2.4 gigahertz, AOSS for Android and iPhone, and up to 69% power save, which is quite good. Not a lot on the side. The back, as you can see, it's top of the range air station high power. Might as well go for the uh, top of the range. So, yeah, so it's got all the extender, QoS, DDWRT firmware, BitTorrent, USB NAS, USB print server, and a movie engine, whatever the movie engine is. And then on the side, it's got some graphs and stuff. Anyway, let's get into the, uh, the actual unboxing. So, I'm um, apologising. For my last video as I used the digital SLR and I got it focused on the screen and then I increased the brightness and then it lost focus and obviously because it's not uh, auto focus so it didn't auto focus back so the whole video well, the whole, whole of my last video was out of focus so I'm now switched back to my Panasonic little HD camera here so oh, come on. I can get this box undone Nope, let's try the other side. Why isn't it? Come on. Ah, it's on the top, that's why. There we go. So, included in the box is the driver disc, a user manual, set, and a stand for the actual router. In here, we get a, oh, this is for the USB modem. So you plug that into USB port behind, plug that in, and you can plug a, a 3G router uh, modem sort of thing in. Ooh, that's nice. So it's a Ethernet cable, but it's a flat ribbon cable, rather than a standard circle. I do like this, actually. So, here and there, as you can see, it's flat and ribbon, with a Cat5 Ethernet. Ethernet cable uh, port in the end, which is very nice. So you've got a selection of, uh, of um, what do you call them, plugs. So I'll be using this one here, uh, the UK plug, not the American one. And then, oh, what's this? So there you go. There's the three antennas to go on top of the actual. Router. Nothing else in the box, so let's check that out of the way. And there we go. It's a lot smaller than I expected, to be honest. See you in a bit. So you can see at the bottom here, Gigabyte Air Station Buffalo, or that way around, Buffalo. And then yeah, let's take this steel plastic off. As you can see, it's kind of Condensating because it's very cold outside, cold and wet. And I've had a cycle ride this morning, and uh, yeah, let's say none of my body was dry when I got home. But it was a good ride, other than that. So, on the bottom, it's got a uh, movie engine on or off. I'll have to have a look at what that is because I have absolutely no idea. On the side is the AOSS button for Android and iPhone, it's one touch to connect. Is it plastic covering? On the back, there's not a lot really. Some labels. Yeah, on the bottom is where the stand goes. Other side is where the. Get some light. Get some around. You've got power, the internet in, four gigabit ports, USB, a. USB jet button there, 
Uh, and then next to that is a router on, off or auto. There, a little slider. So it must have an inbuilt clock in it, so you can turn it off and on at night or something if you want to. And then at the top is where the three aerials screw in. So I will be doing a full review once we I've set this, set this all up to see what it's like. See if it is an improvement, see if how, what the Wi-Fi range is like. Hopefully it's a lot bigger. So you've got these, these three things that you can point in different directions you want it. So yeah, thanks for checking out my unboxing of the uh, Buffalo Air Station. Where's the box gone? I can't remember the name of it. N450.